sprayed in red paint all over the sidewalk walls. These hate-related graffiti messages were spotted on the Annabella underpass across Higgins Avenue. The abusive messages and derogatory symbols were directed against Jews and Arabs. This is leaving many in the community concerned. Clearly, this incident, regardless of the fact that it was in an industrial area, and many may not see it, is hateful and it's unacceptable. It's meant to hurt, and it does. It causes a, a feeling insecurity in the community. According to a 2023 Statistics Canada report, police reported hate crimes targeting the Jewish community rose by 47 percent between 2020 and 2021. Rotrin said that the history of Manitoba's hate crime goes up and down each year. There were 223 anti-Semitic incidents in Manitoba in 2021. That dropped to 51 in 2022. And Manitoba has been consistently worse than other Western provinces uh, over the last number of years. According to the same report, hate crime for Muslims increased by 71% in the same year. Yusuf Sufi from Manitoba Islamic Association says any graffiti in the form of verbal threats can escalate to larger forms of violence. We have to, uh, as a society, continually uh, fight again, um, just like anti-Semitism, just like anti-Black racism, um, just like anti-Indigenous racism. This is um, an example of, of the need for that struggle to continue. The city of Winnipeg says that it treats racist graffiti removal requests on high priority. And when CBC informed them about the one here in Annabella Street, they got the crews to clean it up. Zabina Ahmed, CBC News, Winnipeg.